Real quick before we get this video started, I wanna share with you um, a line of products that I was recently introduced to. They are all organic, natural made products. They are sourced right here in the good old USA. They are made and manufactured here in the USA, which creates jobs locally. And the reason being why I got into this is because um, once it was explained to me thoroughly, um, I felt real strongly about it. Not only is it a all natural, all organic product, uh, which replaces something that uh, most of the big box stores um, use, you know, potentially poisonous, terrible things in a lot of the products that we use on a daily basis. So trying to get away from that and replace a lot of those products with something more natural and organic and the fact that it's, um, you know, made right here in America, that makes a huge difference for me too. I like to spend my money locally. I like to create jobs here in America. So that's kind of more what this is about is um, it's health and wellness for, for everyone and also creating, spending my dollars locally. And um, I feel strongly about that. So I feel like I'm gonna share it with you guys. And I really hope you guys check it out. Um, the store, it's called mypatriotsupply.com. And I'm gonna put up a link in the description on this video and I'd love for you guys to go check that out. Uh, if you wanna support our channel, go to My, My Patriot Supply. That's gonna really help us out. And um, I think you'll find there's a lot of products in there that you probably can't live without. So here's just a quick rundown of what was sent to me in my, in my first care package here. Um, got some uh, healthcare items here, some vitamins, things like that. We're gonna give that a shot. There's a spot remover and a disinfectant, an all-purpose cleaner, and then some laundry detergent along with a bar of soap and some uh and some dish soap here so all right well we just got to the uh notary here and as you can see i've got a cashier's check here for three hundred and thirty thousand dollars and uh it's uh paying back a note that we took out at the beginning of the snow removal season around January, we had to take out a $300,000 loan in order to uh, keep the business moving because we were having cash flow issues. But we made it out the other side. And as you can see here, I was able to get this check printed up today at the bank. And I'm going to go, we're going to go in here to the notary and we're going to give this to our lender and he's going to sign our property back to us. Our buddy Ron, oh, easy terms here, is going to take us out and show us an airplane that he just picked up. Well, this got the way you hold that, honey. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it makes it, you can hold it steadier. So this is it. So he's wanting about 175 for this. Plus, uh, if I finance it through him, it's going to cost more like 200 but uh it's a 210 it's definitely been flown i gotta see what the hours are on it i haven't really seen the log books or anything but uh i don't know what this plane's worth anybody out there know what it's worth let me know in the comments
got our beam all marked out. Got our wall marked out. Our LVLs will run from the main ridge down and the other way. And those will be our LVLs. Everything else is under stack. And that would be the two by 10 dug fur, which is right back there on the ground. It snowed a tiny bit this morning. It's supposed to get some in the next couple days. But if that happens, we'll just drop down and start hitting the stairs. It's what it's all about now. Diverting water. Man, such a nice day. But yeah. Diverting water away from our projects. We dig little channels everywhere from the low spots to keep it all flowing. These are pretty dug out, so they drained out already. Still a little flow, but. Storms rolling in pretty quickly. A little scaffolding so we could get up there to that ridge easily and get all of our hardware put on. This guy's just moving, man. Oh, Storm is moving in. Uh, you can see it coming. Shampoo para mantener el color del tinte y shampoo para reparar el daño causado por el tinte. Oh, Marco has made his pattern. That's the third C cut. Here's the second. Here's the top. So it'll go from that top ridge beam. The second C cut will land right there on that beam, and the third C cut will land on the top of the top plate. And then a 24 inch tail hanging off the end. Well, there was one stack we had. I knew the other one was over here somewhere. I thought it was over there, but actually it's way back here in the very back. And it goes over there, back here. And I believe right over there. So we got a little digging to do.
Well, they weren't lying. Got a pretty good little dump. I would say every bit of three or four inches. Oh yeah. Maybe four inches or more. And uh, it's pretty cool out this morning. So we'll probably end up getting a later start. But here it is, May 2nd, 2023. And we got four inches of snow on the ground. You can see, got a good little cover on everything overnight. <laughs> this thing here, that's probably yeah, that's true. Probably a lot of guys were talking about that crack. Yeah. So there's like a river that runs through right here. That's kind of where the crack was. So definitely had a river running Basically. through the bottom of it pretty much. You can see that water flowing. Probably don't want to take a dip in that right now. Sadie's gonna do a roll. She's doing a little, a little snow roll for her old time's sake. <laughs> All right. So we just got over here to Fireside, and uh, you can see here we had a. Uh, it's a 32, about a 32 inch tall beam that was compromised from the snow. So Brent brought us over and we're over here talking about a couple of different options on repair. Um, one <clears throat> would be basically a knee brace coming from a wrap about that down to a steel column, which already supports this. There's a, there's a vertical column right there in that wall and uh, so we're looking at possibly opening that up and putting a knee brace. Or the other option would be to remove these two beams and uh, just replace them both. And they're pretty old, so we're kind of weighing those two options. So uh, I'll let you know what we come up with, but uh, that's kind of where we're at with this one to try and get this uh, this area back to uh, where it should be. All right, so we just left that demo over there. Those guys got that under control for the rest of the day. Shouldn't be too difficult for them to finish that up. I'm gonna come back over here to Starwood and we're gonna talk to Ed and the guys. They had a couple questions. So let's see what they're up to and uh, see how things are going over here. Okay, so it's pretty cold this morning. What, about 28 degrees. You can see our uh, electrical igloo is melting its way down. Boy, something. Something smelled. But, uh, Ed and the boys are over here working on this roof. This cut and stack portion of the roof. Things are melting away pretty good. It's uh, it's kind of a muddy mess. Uh, we're gonna hop up here and see what things are looking like up on the roof. That's Sadie and Bud, they're back in their element. As you can see, we're down to the grade here. Just the other day, this there was a wall here that was about probably five or six feet high, like this side. But this side has completely melted off. So you can start to see all that, uh, those logs out there are starting to be exposed, which those were completely under snow just a few days ago. So it's melting off pretty quick. Today is very cold and the next couple days are gonna be cold, but uh, it's definitely a big change in the last couple days. Okay, so we got the bucket, we got the dump truck. So the plan here, delete the steps. Basically everything in this interior comes out. So if you look, 
down in here. That's pretty much like down to the concrete right there. It's kind of what we want the whole way around. All the way around to the outside of this concrete, all the way around. And then everything, you know. Well, that's good, John. Oh yeah, big chunks, get it down in big chunks. Okay, so we got this thing pretty much gutted out here. And uh, you can see it's all rotted down here underneath. So our plan, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up better. And then it's gonna be to extend up these uh, stem walls all out of concrete. And um, hopefully, hopefully we can do that and uh, get this thing watertight so it's not uh, getting water back behind here like it was. Just about got it all gutted out. failed Oh hell. Dang, you've been working out? Hey, you saw those four eggs at breakfast? Oh yeah, those four eggs and bacon. Woo! That did her. It was nice for a few days. Looks like storm's coming in now. Yeah, for sure. We're supposed to get, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches within the next few days. We'll see. Here's June Lake. It's starting to break up pretty good. All the colors look pretty cool out there. Nobody was able to do any fishing. No boats. No nothing. A couple guys on the uh, bank fishing here and there. But that's about it. So I'm fishing in this little area right here. And just down here in the water. Seen something. Pretty interesting. That's a crayfish. Blue, dead, but pretty interesting colors. So we're down here at Taboose Creek, and walk up and see this thing looks pretty cool. Somebody had them a little carve session they did here. Looks pretty cool. Well, as you can see, it is spitting a little snow here, and the weather is a little rough, a little windy, and uh, got about four inches of snow last night, so pretty interesting for May 2nd, uh, 2023, but I'm going to get this video out to you guys, and uh, hope you guys enjoy our... Uh, Monday and Tuesday here in Mammoth, getting back into construction. And go check out that patriotsupply.com in the link below in the description. I think you'll find some worthwhile products there. And let me know what you guys think about all that. And um, look forward to doing some more videos as always. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.